Hey guys, I'm Long Pamai, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a professional user-defined function using VBA. And then I'll show you how to add a screen tip or information about the function so that it's easier for the user to understand what the function does. Let's get started. First, let me quickly show you some of the inbuilt Excel functions. If you go to your formulas, you can see a wide variety of functions which are already in place. Also, for example, let's say this is... Um, this is a date let's say that you want to extract what is the day for this particular date you can use text function and then you select a value and this is the screen tip or the parameter information so if i select this particular date and then i put in like uh in this format that you want it says um, this is saturday so this particular function returns us a day from a particular date so similarly, let's say that you want to enter a random number uh, between, you know, like, uh, let's say 1 to 1000. So a random number. So once you select this particular function, it says what the function is supposed to do, right? Uh, so I hit tab and then it says bottom number, top number. So these are functions which are already in built in your Excel. I'm going to show you how to create a function similar to uh, something like this that uh, you can build uh, as per your requirement okay so i'll just put in bottom number and then a top number 1000 control enter it will just put in all these random numbers for me okay and the other you know like function that we use very frequently for example sum sum if index match we look up all these are inbuilt functions okay so one thing to note here is that uh, when we let me just do a control Z. So when we enter a function earlier, you see that the bottom number, this is the bottom number, this is the, uh, the top number, and then this is the function description, and this top basically is the largest number. In teaser, they mention the type of the number as well. Uh, between, uh, random, between will return, okay? And one thing to note here is that it says it, this is volatile. That means every time you save your workbook or you change any value within the workbook it's going to change uh it's going to recalculate okay so these are uh some of the functions that you need to watch out for because it's con it can make your work really heavy okay so i'm just gonna cl uh, just clear off all this i'll quickly show you um one small example and then we'll go to a more complicated version of that okay so let's say that there's a function at number something like that and then within this brackets you can pass in a parameter let's say um number one as uh, long or you can say double double can take in decimal points whereas long can only have a solid number absolute number and then num let's say num2 as a double again and then what num what sort of data do you want to return from there will be this so i'll specify i want to return a double number okay now add number is equal to that means your add fun add number function is going to return this value so if i just say it, uh if i just put number one here it's going to return that one that is a static value but we want to return uh, a number one plus number two okay so if i just take this function and put it here i'll say add number there's our add number without any uh description about the function and let's say I put a number one and then number one so we're expecting one plus one and uh, our function is going to return two um, and the other way of uh, you know like there are other functions that you can uh, sort of write for example let's say function and then this one does not take any input as string let's call this function get um, username so get username can be uh, application dot user name and if I just put this function within your formulas it's gonna get, return me alpamai so that is my application username which you can find it from your file if you go to your options and then this is where it's fetching the information from okay uh, so similarly let's say you want to get a computer name so you can write any sort of function like uh, get computer name i'm just giving you some examples so that you know like uh, you can create 
all sorts of um, function. Let's say that this computer name is going to return an environ function. From here, we want to get a computer name. Okay, I get this function. I say call the computer name. It's going to return me uh, LPPC. So you, you can verify this game by going to your computer properties. And then you can see LPPC, for example. So you can get all this sort of information. Um, let's say that um, you want to fetch uh, the the time when the workbook was saved last, or who edited last. All sorts of information you can pull using similar function like thing, uh, using the workbook properties functions. Okay. So now that we have already created some of the functions here, um, you can um, you know like add a description about these functions okay so let's say um let's write one more function about a range uh let's say let's say get hyperlink from cell and then we'll say um select cell as range and this is going to return us a string and we'll say get hyperlink is equal to whatever range was selected here we'll say this dot hyperlinks we'll just take the first index dot address let's say that you have a hyperlink uh, you want to add a hyperlink I'll do a control K and let's say this is Google site something like that let's say you have a, a cell with um, with a hyperlink and you want to extract this so you can use a function like this to get the hyperlink from there so you say equal to and then your uh, the custom function that you wrote, you select the cell and then instead of the caption or the label is going to return you the hyperlink with, within the cell, okay? Alright, so that's enough of an example for now. Let If I go to this particular function now, it does not have, it says no help available and then this is um, the caption, this is the, the hyperlink within it, okay? Now let me show you how to add a description or information about the parameters about the function. Click anywhere within your function and hit F2 from your keyboard or you can go to view and then select object browser. So it's going to take you to all this uh, library. From here you can select um, VV project and then you can select the module where you're writing the code and then you'll see all your functions are here, okay? Uh, this is this does not work 100%. This method does not work 100%, but you can try to do this uh, depending on the access level that you have in your computer. So if I go to the function, right click on the function and go to properties, you this is where you can add uh, information about this particular function. So let's say that uh, this function will return hyperlink. address within a selected cell and I click on OK and then this particular cell click on this formula it says this function will return a hyperlink address so another method to add um, information about so the other method to add the description or information about the function is to use a macro options uh, method so let's start writing a small code. We'll call this sub um, add info for function, something like this. Okay, and then we'll start off with um, applications dot micro options. So within this, you can specify micro name, the description, category, uh, the arguments. These are some of the things we're going to cover. Beyond this, as like the menu, menu text, the shortcut key, this are some of the things you can implement as well beyond uh, but beyond this particular uh, tutorial okay so it's a simple let's start with adding a name of the micro let's say uh, you want to get a computer name so you put in the name of the computer uh, the function here and then within this description you can add whatever you want let's say um, this function or we can say will return the name of the function and will return the computer name that's it and then we'll just ignore all this for now and then within the category we'll say uh, you can specify something like custom user defined function something like that 
So your function is going to show up in that category from your formula list. So if you go to your function here, these are all the categories. So uh, once you're done with this, you should be able to see your own category. Okay. So coming back here now, status bar, I'm going to leave that, leave that, help file leave. The last one is the argument. This is where you can add um, information about the parameter. In this scenario, this com get computer name function does not have a parameter. So you can specify that this does not have a parameter, but you'll have to pass this uh, using uh, an array. So let's say there is um, uh, an array that you've created. We'll create a simple one, dim array. This will only have one, one particular item, and we'll call this as variant uh, type. And we'll say the value is this function does not need any parameters or something like that. Well, so let's try to run this. So it ran OK. I'm going to copy this, put it here, and just enter this. It returned the name of the computer. If you go to the function, it says get computer name will return the computer name. That is what we added it from our macro here, from down here, as you can see. Okay, and um, the the arguments, the parameter information is gonna be. It says uh, the function takes no arguments. Okay, and it returned this particular value. Let's click on OK. Now let's say that uh, you want to add about this particular. Um, this particular function, you can simply replicate this, or you can write a function to do a similar task. Okay, so I'll do one more example, and then we'll say two. Example two, I'll copy the name of this function hyperlink.add. I'll put the name of the function here, and then we'll say this function will return the hyperlink for selected cell okay and this will also come under custom UDF uh, and then here the arguments can be um, select select the cell you want to return the hyperlink something like that Okay, I'm gonna try to run this. This also have only one argument, so nothing much to change there. So I run OK. So if I go back here and go to this particular function, it says this function will return the hyperlink for selected cell. And selected cell, once you look here, this is the this is the parameter. The select the cell you want to return the hyperlink from. So that way the user can you know like easily understand uh, what the function is supposed to do it really helps when you add uh, information like this if you want to see where your formula or the function is located you can click on this uh, FX function and then you can select uh, custom custom function is where we added custom UDF this is where we added this particular uh, function now one last thing I want to quickly tell you is that this these formulas are volatile uh, as I said in the beginning that every time you add uh, every time you change the value or every, every time you calculate or save these functions are gonna run so uh, if you want to prevent that from happening uh, and only want to calculate uh, when you hit calculate or change the value of that particular related cell only you can add an option like application dot volatile and then you can say false so that way it's it's only going to calculate when it's when you want it to calculate when you change the value of the related cell or when you hit calculate for that particular cell okay guys that's all i have for you today thank you so much for watching again uh please do not forget to leave a like or a comment if you found this video informative as always thanks for your support and have a good day bye bye